I, in this video, I'd like to show you how to include an organization chart visualization into your React powered application. For this, we're going to use the Y Files React organization chart component, which is an NPM component for specific built for React. Uh, it builds upon the Y Files uh, graph drawing library and has its home on GitHub. So let's just go to github.com slash yworks slash react minus yfiles minus org chart. Um, this page also includes an introduction on how to get started. Um, the, the module itself is distributed as an NPM package, but as a prerequisite, we need to install the yfiles NPM module, which you can get from the yfiles homepage. Once you go there, you can download a zip file which contains all of the Y files examples. I unzip the file and the first thing I'm going to do is go into the Y files directory and into the lib minus dev folder. This one contains the npm module of for Y files, the core library as a TGC file. So I'm going to just copy the path uh, to the file and in my React application I'm going to do install uh, that TGC file. So this adds uh, Yfiles to as a dependency to my application. Right now, there's mostly React, React DOM, and the actual uh, component will be installed via npm install at yworks react minus Yfiles minus org chart. Let's do this. And now we have the application, and um, let's take a look at the next steps. We have installed React, React DOM, Y files, and the component. And one more step as a preparation is to copy over the license into our application. The license can be found in the Y files package uh, when you evaluate it or download the version in the lib folder. And there's the license JSON. Let's just put it into our assets folder or somewhere in our application where we can read it from our uh, main file. There is this one function that we should be calling, and that's register license. It's part of the uh, uh, component library. And this one takes an argument, the JSON, and we can just import the JSON as a variable over here from assets license JSON and pass in the license data. So this is how you register the license. And Last step is to import the CSS information um, into our application. Now with this done, uh, we can actually add the org chart component, which is a, a React component, to our application. Let's just copy over this one. And the organization chart needs to be imported and and Obviously, we need to pass it some data for visualization. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use the sample data that we have in this example just to show you how it works. So here's some sample data. And let's just fix the import. And so this will show you show me a hierarchy. So let's make some changes over here. And save the application and here is our organization chart. Interactive and live updating. Of course, this is just a very simple organization chart and it doesn't have any additional features like tooltips and context menus and more interactivity and custom styling. Learn how to do this by looking, take a look at the documentation, and play with the live playground online to see what other options you have to customize. So this is how you include a nice interactive organization chart into your React powered application. Thanks for listening.